David Bay here for MuscularDevelopment.com. We are in Las Vegas wrapping things up from the 2015 NPC USAs. I am here with Team Long and two new IFBB pros in our light heavyweight winner, Thomas Lenahan, and our welterweight winner, Armando Arman. Uh, guys, you missed your pro card by one spot here last year, finishing runner-up. Armando, third place at Nationals. Both of you guys missed your pro cards by one spot. I'm going to start here with Thomas. Uh, a really tough light heavyweight class, really stacked. One of the better ones we've seen in a while. How are you feeling walking away as a pro? Unbelievable. I mean, it's what I trained for. It's what I ate for. I mean, I'm an old school mentality and finish strong. Just ended it strong. And, you know, from prejudging the night show, just got to end it. Don't go home and think you, you got it. You know, stay humble and stay strong in the mind and finish it. And that's what I did. All right, now Armando, you got eight months after nationals, a little bit of a tricky time period because you can't really go into full blown off season mode trying to make those big changes with eight months. But uh, yeah, obviously you're not going to stay in contest prep mode. Talk to us a little bit about what you've been up to in the last eight months that enabled you to walk away as a pro here tonight. Well, basically what I did after nationals is we um, we kept it you know pretty tight. You know, didn't want to go too far um, above weight, so I just stayed lean. Um, as lean as I could and try and make the improvements that were needed, which I felt that we pulled off um, to come here and uh, pull away the, with the card. So, um, yeah, it's just uh, staying in shape, you know, so I didn't, so the prep, my, and also my prep for uh, nationals, it was uh, 16 weeks, and then this one was 12, so it was still hard, you know, because, um, like, you know, it's still digging deep and just trying. I feel like I brought way better conditioning than, than at Nationals. So, you know, it was still hard, but it was, it was a little bit easier, if that makes sense. But. Absolutely. You're pulling a little few, a little bit of time off the diet, still working just as hard. Now, Don, we all know how big social media is in today's bodybuilding. You know, I mean, everybody's all over it and stuff. And you get some guys who flood it leading into a show. I think the only progress pictures I've seen of these two guys are the handful that you've posted. And it seems like a, a theme with, with Don Long's guys is, is, is modesty, um, yeah, which yeah. It can be a big problem coming into some of these shows. And, and again, both of these guys, as humble as could be, now from a coaching standpoint, obviously there's, there's the diet, there's the nutrition, there's the training. Is there another aspect as a former IFBB pro that you're taking with these guys? I mean, the, the attitudes are as good as can get. Exactly. And I think, you know, we talked about it, me and Mondo as, you know, earlier, you know, you know, granted, I feel like I'm a humble type guy. And, and granted, I wouldn't even tolerate an athlete that wasn't humble without, you know, honestly leading him in the right direction and letting him know not to be that way. But both of these guys, once again, naturally are that way anyway. And they're, you know, true athletes, you know, simple as that, true athletes, they work hard and then they, you know, they're confident, but they, they don't have to go and say, I'm going to win the show, no guarantee. Everybody wants to win, but they just keep it modest, keep it calm, and then, and once again, do the work at home. And that's what both of these guys did, you know. Both of these guys are very disciplined with the diets. Armando, once again, like we were going back, is after the show, you know, after the Nationals, we made sure he stayed on a very clean diet. So sometimes he, you know, sometimes in the off season he was splurged a little bit. This time he, you know, kept, he, you know, once again, you can't come, keep coming back here. So we made sure that he's, you know, give it all you got, you know, be disciplined with the diet. You know, perfection begets perfection. This is similar. That's the one thing I tell both of these guys, you know. And then once again, no stone on turn. We just do, you know, everything tedious, everything tedious, and then um, and expect nothing but great results from doing that. So, yeah. All right, well, guys, let's learn. Facebook and hype does not win trophies. Hard work and humility certainly does. Goes a long way. We got two shining examples of that. Guys, uh, I got to ask the question to everybody that gets a pro card. Uh, there's a few more IFBB shows remaining here in 2012, or excuse me, 2015. Uh, obviously, a, a huge lineup next year. Any, anything in the works, Thomas? Talk to the wife. <laughs> it's a smart answer. Yeah, she's the driver on that one. Right. That she comes first, so we'll talk. You know, me and Don just chatted real briefly about uh, the Tampa, but uh, the wife comes real first. briefly about yeah. Tampa. <laughs> right. So you know, we'll go home, regroup, and chat it out, and see what go from there. Me and Don will talk about it, too, but the wife makes the phone decision. All right, Armando. <laughs> Well, you know, being a Walter, you know, I got, I want to put on some more weight. Um, but my, being a Walter, we, we've, we've always had to hold my weight down. My body's ready to grow, so um, I plan on stepping on stage sometime next year. Um, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to step on stage and make a statement. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like putting on some quality weight and then uh, step on stage sometime next year at the 212s. 
Uh, certainly, and definitely one thing we can never do is right off these guys turning pro is the lighter weight classes. Uh, we saw a few years ago a guy, Cisternino, turn pro as a middleweight. I think everybody, including myself, unfortunately, said this guy's not really going to go too far. He's 176 going up against guys that are 212. Here we are He's a few years later. He's winning pro shows, top 10 at the Olympia, so it can definitely be done for both of you guys. So with that, we're going to wrap it up, let you guys get some food in, let you talk Tampa over with the wife and Don. <laughs> you might not be able to eat too much, but uh, we're going to get going, guys. So once again, from the 2015 NPC USAs, this is David Bay with Don Long and new pros Thomas Lenahan and Armando Aman for MuscularDevelopment.com.